springtime of the year, fish are moving shallow, whether they're coming in to spawn, you know, whether it's pre-spawn or spawn, these are the kind of baits that I'm gonna have every year on the deck of my boat. And the first one is the, the bladed jig. This is the Thunder Cricket by Strike King. Tremendous bait, a lot of action. I generally would keep the bluegill color, which is probably my number one. You gotta understand if there's a bass on a bed, he hates having a bluegill come by. So you're throwing this thing, it's vibrating, it's coming through, it gets close to a bed, they chew it. Great, great bet. Now that is a bait for searching, reeling while you're looking, hunting and finding. If I find a bass on a bed, white rage bug, Texas rig. So here I have a cut our worm, which is a great one too, but it's gonna be a soft plastic, okay? Texas rig soft plastic to pitch on that bed and let it sink down and work it and catch them. Now, a lot of times I won't catch them on that, so I'll switch off to a jig because a nice little you know, like this hack attack quarter out swim jig, this thing is more bulky and looks nasty and gnarly and like I'm coming to eat your mess. So they get on this thing. So I keep a jig, not just soft plastic, you know, the soft plastic, you look at it, it's got all the legs and appendages too, but this can trigger them quite often when a soft plastic won't. So those are my primary. One thing you've got to have, never will you see me fish in the spring without an ocho usually wacky style. You can take it if you know there's a bed or you got a little pocket or whatever, you throw it out there and just let it slowly settle down. The fish can't handle it, they swim up and eat it. A lot of females get caught that way, a lot of males. It's just a great way to put a lot of fish in the boat. My final two things, if I find a bed, drop shot. A uh, little drop shot, this is a half shell. It's a bright color. I like something that I can see don't really care much about what the fish thinks of it. I, it's something that I can see. So when he goes and it's gone, it's gone. It disappears. You can't miss that. You know, I can see it when it's like this and I go, uh oh, he doesn't have the hook. He's got it by the tail, you know, and then all of a sudden it's gone. I can set the hook. So I like something bright. And that's the other reason why I choose the white rage bug, something bright I can see. And then finally, something I always keep on my deck too is because big females like to be around heavy cover. So you might have where you have beds, beds, and then you have like right here behind me, you can see we have a mat of vegetation. I'll keep a, a punch rig. So I'll have a, you know, a flip stick, punch and bait, heavyweight, ounce, ounce and a quarter. And I'll, I'll either have a rage menace on it or I'll have a rage bug, both of them. It, tremendous to get into that heavy cover because that female can slide up and hang in that stuff and you're dropping it through and all of a sudden you've got a big one pulling him out of the mat. There's one other bait I didn't pull out that you kind of got to have, and that's a jerk bait, you know, KBD jerk bait. That's another one that while you're looking, you can jerk it and they, they tend to, to trigger a bite and come after it. So this is my lineup, springtime, give it a shot. I think you'll find out that this will catch most of the fish in almost any lake you go to in the spring.